I'm almost halfway through my first year of living with Alzheimer's, and even though my variant, PCA, is extremely rare, there are other people in the same boat as me, and some of them have been rowing for quite a while. It's about time I met them. I have to admit, I'm really dreading this. I think I'm going to see my own future. Has anybody else had that experience where people have not really seemed to understand quite what you're going through or the difficulties that you're having? There's a lot of people that think there's nothing wrong with you at all. OK, my brain doesn't work as, as, as what, what, it did, what it does, but really, other than that, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in pain at all. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm just make, doing the best I can. Anything coming through the post box, I can't read. And Susan has to reply, telephone, whatever. But in the main, she has to do everything from cutting my toenails to making sure I've got the right shoes on. Because it's a tricky one. This disease, or whatever you call it, um, changes your perspective, as we all know. Would it be possible for you to say a little bit about your experience of PCA? Um, I feel very humbled about coming here because I haven't experienced thus far lots, lots of the experiences that sleet into me all the time via emails. It didn't happen. It, it evolved it as if traits that I ha oh, it, as if traits in my personality just or in my it just just got. To a point, I, I called it a Clapham Junction day. Oh. <laughs> right? Oh, <laughs> people understand. <laughs> um, and I've lost my place. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I really loved about today was everyone was going, yes, yes, like they'd been there before. And, and that was, that was, uh, and I can see why why you get groups like this, because you're among people who know exactly how it is. Well, despite my initial fears, I'm actually enjoying myself. After the group, I have lunch with Graham Doggett and his wife, Susan. You know, if you're relaxed, as you said, you can do things. I mean, like Tom Tying his tie, if he doesn't think about it, he can do it. I tried my tie this morning without having to do it twice. Oh, we've been through the tie thing. Yeah. yeah. And the trick um, for me is don't look at it, just right. do it. But in order you, for you Graham has been diagnosed with PCA for almost four years longer than me. He's also an author and an academic and has written several books on quantum chemistry. And they don't sell anything like the numbers that you sell. <laughs> no. But PCA has put an end to most of his activities. No, but Susan is the gardener in our house. That's my if I help her pruning, I'm, I can never find the wretched branch to cut. I'm just cutting in the air all the time. I think I'd, I think I'd miss gardening. Yes. Let me explain. My whole life has changed. I was doing computing since 1959. That's gone. I used to play the piano up to grade seven, gone. Reading, writing, gone, gone. Oh, I have so there is Graham, who is 70, articulating a perfectly worded sentence. And to an extent, I suppose, that's pretty much the same thing as me. But uh, I've only just made the first few steps on the ladder that he's climbing. <laughs> <laughs>